how's it going everybody we're back again with another episode of the revision series i'm joined here like always with cody cody how are you doing tired but i'm here what's new it is early it yeah i just crashed after only getting two hours of sleep in a two-day period so we're good get the holiday though now yeah thank god i wouldn't have got that sleep well today's episode we're opening up 24 packs of cybernetic revolution and what a revolution this is probably going to become yeah uh introducing an absolutely absolute menace of a monster well we've kind of made up the pack to where i think that we should have the opportunity to get play sets so at least it's yeah. going to be even playing ground all right so cybernetic revolution released on august 6 2005 the main focus of this uh, was to introduce new GX anime series cards, uh, along with uh, machine type monsters used by Zane and Cyrus, including Cyber Dragon and the Roid archetype. I don't know about you, there's definitely some cool stuff in here that we ended up putting in, but uh, I'm mostly just here for Cyber Dragon. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling. For the uh, one secret, we do have the Cyber End Dragon. Uh, it's definitely a, a, a pretty good boss monster. Um, hard to bring out like a boss monster probably should be um, but you kind of don't need it to play so we felt like you know putting it in the secret rare even if you don't get it it's not the end all be all uh, for the ultra rares we have cyber twin dragon probably better than cyber and dragon um, even though it's weaker but that card can actually just end the game we have wing karibo level 10 again pretty okay boss monster uh, hard to get out but uh, we do have opportunities to get it out uh for our super rares we have power bond and miracle fusion along with goblin elite attack force uh some notable rare cards uh he's here cyber dragon mm -hmm. uh some other rare cards we have uh system down it gets rid of machine monsters the transcendent wings it's what gets you the level 10 wing karibo skyscraper a field spell for heroes and bubble man being like a very weird elemental hero card and then for the commons we have uh some new frog stuff in desk frog and the tab pool we have the roid monsters uh we didn't include all of them but we felt like these ones were you know at least enough to where you like you can build a deck around these four monsters but these were definitely like the best ones and even then like gyroid and patroid aren't really that great um we have a new trap card in the rival appears uh a new uh tribute monster in mechanical hound and another goblin attack force like card in the indomitable fighter lili so another not full set i don't know what it is with konami around this time period where they just didn't print over 100 cards for us to actually get a full pack out of this but yeah i think uh, we definitely picked out the best stuff and again like we could open up 24 packs of this and actually build a pretty competent like archetype deck out of this other than uh cyber dragon are there any other cards that were in here that kind of grabbed your attention uh cyber twin dragon <laughs> <Does that count? laughs> i mean there's the two we can finally fusion summon now with the uh, miracle fusion and power bond being here that's right uh a miracle fusion only for hero fusion cards and power bond only for machine monsters which luckily doesn't quite have the same limitations because we do have other machine fusion monsters just not a lot yeah they'll rack up over time when we start getting more fusions the fusions themselves are even better than what we got before i mean pretty much anything is better than just having a vanilla so well bud what do you say pack openings oh let's get some packs opened <laughs> the fucking pause in between <laughs> yeah it's for dramatic effect <laughs> All right, what's up guys? We are back for Cybernetic Revolution. Skynet has taken over. Judgment Day is upon us. Let's find John Connor and take this bitch down. Okay, so <laughs> we have quite a few machines in the deck this time around. I had an Ancient Gear Golem from my first set of drafts uh, last time, but I didn't use him. And then if you saw the last episode, um, during the Nightmare Wheel, I believe it was, Dakota was spinning. Or the winner's wheel i had a face that was like because i opened my packs and i pulled a second golem so he's in the deck now three copies of cyber dragon absolute must right now uh dd warrior lady just for some monster banishing drill roid to immediately destroy defense position monsters goblin attack goblin elite attack force 
So it's a little bit different from the regular Goblin Attack Force. It's 100 less attack, and it does go into defense after I attack, but at least it has some defensive stats to help maybe keep it on the field. Hane Hane for monster bouncing. Jinzo, who's also a machine, a good one tribute to 2400, locks down traps cards. King of the Swamp is here to be a fusion substitute because if you notice, for the first time in series history, we have an extra deck. We will get to use it. Well, I hope so. Uh, Night Assailant, two copies of that for monster removal. Roulette Barrel is also for monster removal. However, I'm primarily going to be setting him with his 2000 defense stat so I can hope to keep a body in the field long enough to get some of these tributes off. Two copies of Wing Karibo for negating any battle damage that turn. Also, I am running the Transcendent Wing Package, so I have the Wing Creeper level 10 in here. And if that's on the field, I can immediately tribute the Wing Creeper level 10 and destroy all face-up attack resistant monsters he has on the field, and then he gets burned for all of their attack, which is nice. Two copies of Brain Control. Uh, I hope to see that one day. One copy of Dark Hole for monster removal. Two enemy controller. Heavy Storm. Monster Reborn. Power Bond. Two copies of this. So this is going to let us fusion summon our Cyber Dragon fusion monsters. Really, it's any machine fusion monster, but it also gains its original attack, so its attack becomes doubled. However, I kind of have to go for game for this one, or I'm going to take a huge chunk of life points. Because during the end phase, uh, I will take that amount of attack gained as damage. Swords of Revealing Light, the two Transcendent Wings I mentioned for the Wing Kribo level 10 summon. Now I know Dakota, and I know a little bit about Yu-Gi-Oh, despite what the series shows. I know he's going to be playing some Cyber Dragons. So, with that in mind, and with all the level 4s that he and I are going to be playing, I have three copies of Arrival Appears, so I can just special summon a monster with the same level as one he has. Draining Shield, Mirror Force to negate attacks, and Draining Shield to gain life points, and a Jama Trio just to clog the board. Side deck, uh, my my baby boy, my Jirai Gumo, if, he's, if you weren't expecting something else, I don't know what to tell you. New addition for me, Time Eater. Dakota used this on me once. I'm not sure if he ever actually resolved it, but it was in his deck. Uh, basically, if I destroy a monster by battle, he just skips his next main phase one. Three Bait Doll. Two new copies here, uh, or cards here. DD Borderline and DD Designator. So Borderline, if there are no spell cards in my graveyard, Neither player can conduct their battle phase, so that gives me time to amply set up if I need to. And DD Designator, he has a lot of searcher cards. I also know he has probably the Cyber Dragons. So if I can get any hand knowledge on him, I can use this card and declare a card name and then look at his hand. If he has that card in his hand, it's banished. The downside is if I don't, if he doesn't have it, I have to banish one from my hand randomly. System down. This is here primarily again for Cyber Dragons, but it's also good against any other machines. I just pay a thousand life points and all machine monsters on his field and his graveyard are banished. If he's running a primarily cyber engine deck, that could cripple him. Two copies of Dark Door, just lets us only one monster can attack in the battle phase. And Nightmare Wheel to lock down any troublesome monsters. Now the extra deck, two copies of the secret rare Cyber End Dragon. So not only is this a 4,000 beat stick, but it has piercing battle damage. Very nice. However, a card we're probably far more likely to see, Cyber Twin Dragon. It's only got 2800, but it can make two attacks in the same battle phase. And with Power Bond, it does uh, attack doubles. Finally, just around the extra deck, I threw in a Flame Wingman here. I can't actually summon it with this deck. I just wanted to kind of throw him off and be like, you know, an even number of six. It's just, yeah. So uh, that's my deck. Um, currently going back in time to try to find John Connor. Long live Skynet. Let's see how this goes. All right, guys, we're back. We uh, opened up our packs and uh, pretty happy with it. So we're playing Chaos. Uh, not really a shocker there, uh, but we have Cyber Dragon now. And because we made it a rare, we both have access to this card. We both probably have playsets of this card. So we're at least on even ground there. It all comes down to deck building after this. So because it's on the ban list now, we're only playing the one Dark Magician of Chaos. I am playing the one Chaos Sorcerer because it's all I have. Three Cyber Dragon. This card is crazy, especially right now. We're playing the three copies of Dekoichi to draw a card. Uh, Nidoria to pop a monster. Night Assailant to pop a monster. Witch to search. Merchant to search and mill. The Creator Incarnate. It's a warrior, so we can search it. And um, it's also a light. Uh, we're also playing that mostly because we're still playing the Creator. I have not yet to actually summon this card but i think what if i do manage to get it on the board it does make an impact just to round out the monsters we're playing two drill roid i think this card has pretty good stats with a really good effect and the one exile force uh, for some of the staples monster reborn heavy premature burial we're playing rota creature swap 
and a card that i decided to try out for this one the autonomous action unit so it's an equipped spell card but it's basically just a uh, monster reborn you pay 15 you target a monster in your opponent's graveyard it brings it out in attack position and then if the monster leaves this leaves this leaves the monster leaves that type of uh deal but i think with both of us playing cyber dragon now probably if i can get one to into the grave i can just steal it or if i manage to get out one of his other boss monsters i can just steal that as well so i do want to experiment with this card so we're only playing it at one if i see it you know that's fine uh offerings of the doom i think this card is kind of just like a staple by this point along with the time seal the drop off the trio uh i still wanted to try out the good goblin housekeeping uh we're now playing three copies of wing wind blast i think this is going to be another just generic card yeah you do have the discard but the fact that you can target any card on the field and just put it back onto the top of the deck is pretty crazy a compulse and a ring for removal for the side deck it's pretty crazy in the side deck so we're playing two copies of Wave Motion because a lot of these other cards can actually just stall out the game. So if I really wanted to and my actual engine for the deck did not do what it was supposed to, I can just play like a very long, slow, boring stall strategy. So I can use this to burn him. I did side in two more of the action unit in case I do see the one and it overperforms. The fortune telling for burn, ordeal for stall, uh, area B to stall, secret barrel for burn, concealing light to stall. And another card I thought about trying out for the side deck is a card called stumbling. So it's a continuous spell. Any monster that has normal summon, flip summon, or special summon is changed to defense. If he summons a card and it has high uh, attack, it's just going to shift to defense. He can switch it back on his next turn, but the fact that this card just, you know, it, it slows down the game just even further. But yep, that's the deck profile. Playing Chaos again, I still think that this is the best deck, and I just keep getting more tools with the packs that we open to make it even better. I do think that the Cyber Dragon makes it better, and it does mess with the ratios, but I still think that the Drill Roid even makes this deck better too. So pretty much I have my lights, my darks, I think the monsters do a lot. I think the spells are just like these very good spell cards. They're very good staples. And the trap cards are just, you know, additional stuff that he has to play around. So I think this is a very well-rounded deck. I do like how it looks. And uh, I think that we are going to walk away with a win with this one. Mm. All right, buddy, here we are. Another episode in the bag. Cybernetic Revolution. I uh, I kept the uh, tradition. I picked a weird ass name for this deck that kind of goes along with that name. Oh yeah. This deck's name is Skynet, all caps. <laughs> I mean, depending on how you look at it, that could either be um, you know uh, apocalyptic for you or for me. Well, either way, it was always gonna happen. Well, I'm gonna try something, and I'm gonna try to go second. Yeah. Yep. Are you ready for a judgment day? I am ready for a judgment day. <laughs> okay. Oh, bring it on! Come on, do it. Do it now. Let's get a quick set two pass. Uh, okay. We'll go standby. Anything? Nope. All right, we'll go to main phase. Oh, how do I want to do this? Let's start with a normal summon of Nudoria. Oh, that's different. Anything on summon? Not a damn thing. All right, I'll go to battle. We'll get in there. Mm -hmm. Um, I will activate draining shield in response. Uh, that is fine. All right, we'll go to main phase two. Mm -hmm. Let's set one of our own and pass it back. Set and pass. All right, you're playing a slow play style. I'm actually not trying to. Uh, anything it's in just, standby. It's mostly just bad draws. Nothing on standby. All right, I will proceed to the main phase. Let's normal summon the creator incarnate. Whoa, buddy. We'll go battle. Okay. Well. Activate. Uh, that is okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just pass it back. God damn it. Standby to main. Where's your monsters? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they are, man. What the hell? Unless you do have a monster. Yes. It just so happens to be Cyber Dragon. I take it still nothing in standby? No, if it, if it was Cyber Dragon, I would just keep the monster in her heal, wouldn't I? Uh, I don't know. That's, that's 12, 16. That's 28 damage. It's a big chunk. Maybe uh, the Mirror Force just seemed very enticing. 
<laughs> all right let's start with a normal summon of drillroid oh boy a new card new we'll card go, we'll go battle we'll activate <laughs> <laughs> oh, i swear man. i'm not trying to stall this much this Jeez. was not the intention of the deck i mean you may not be uh attempting to stall but you are keeping yourself alive yes i am stand by two main uh, how do i want to go about this pat 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 <laughs> <laughs> now let's let's set setting huh and then we'll pass no back row interesting uh, we'll go to main phase and let's switch this back to attack mode. Mm -hmm. We'll go battle and I will get in there. And that yeah. will then do the drill roid and, oh, uh, it, it's going to flip. So you're going to pop it. Yep. That is fine. And I think we're still just chilling. So pass it back. What a slow start. We're pretty similar on card advantage. Yeah, kind of. Stand by two main. Yep. Set and pass. All right, I will draw. Stand by two main. All right, buddy. You ready for this? No, probably not. Come forth. There Cyber Dragon. There it is. He's here. Let's activate Rhoda. Uh. Are you pulling out your exiled force for a uh, back then? I could. I do have other targets. So you do have exiled force then? Maybe. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll go for the exile force. Yep. Uh, I'll <laughs> use the effect. Oh, we're playing some fusions. I got a little something. Fusion. Uh, battle. 21. Go to main phase two. I will set one and pass it back. Stand by two main. Yep. Let's start with a dark hole. That will be fine. Okay. Next, let's activate Monster Reborn, targeting Cyber Dragon. That is also fine. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't okay. get your own, you just had to take mine. Yeah, uh huh. It was so enticing. I had to. All right, let's go. Battle phase. Uh, a short. I will go for attack directly. Um, let's see. Got see in here. response. I'll take it. Okay. All right. Uh, main phase two. Okay. Set and pass. All right. I will draw. Anything in standby? No. All right. Go to main phase. Let's set one and I'll proceed to the end heavy. phase and I'll activate time seal. Yeah, there it is. And pass right. it back. <laughs> All right. Stand by two main. Or, yeah, fuck it. Let's go for it. Battle phase. Okay. Direct. Um, On attack, I will activate compul. So that goes to your hand then, right? Correct. My cyber dragon now. Woohoo! Yeah, I had a feeling you uh back you where you belong. <laughs> I had a feeling you wanted me to attack. <laughs> but I went for it anyway. Uh okay. I will pass turn there. Alright, I will draw. Stand by. Anything? Nope. Alright, <clears throat> we will go to main phase. Let's normal summon. The creator incarnate. <laughs> Battle phase. Sixteen. Woo! And we'll pass it back. All right, stand by to main. Sure. And sudden pass. All right, let's draw. Anything in standby? Nope. Main fate. Let's normal summon. Drillroid. Hmm. He's drilling, baby. That is. We'll go battle phase, and we'll get in there. Well, you'll lose four hundred, but. Uh, this is before damage. Right before I'll get in there, man. And then 16. All right. And, and we'll pass it back. Ooh, a pass. Not looking good. Anything in standby? Nope. Go to main. Go battle. Oh, that's surprising. 16. 
Uh, another 16. Oh, main phase two. Mm -hmm. I will set and pass. Yeah, by two main. Sure. We saw yours, so now I think it's only fitting you see mine. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's go battle. Sure. I have absolutely no idea what that is, but I want to know. Well, you're not going to. I activate offerings to the doomed. Get rid of that cyber dragon. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Cyber dragon. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs>
offering to the doom to pop the gold. Why do you always have that card? I mean, it was a common. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, well. All right. Well, let's see it. I would not draw. All right, buddy. I got a very cool card to show you. All right. Let's see it. I activate autonomous action unit. I will pay 15 and I will target the ancient gear golem to special summon mm -hmm. it to my field. Okay. All right. Can you okay. Hey, you can. Next. Normal summon, exile fort. I'll Ooh, use okay. the effect and I'll pop the set. Okay, well, luckily I don't take damage then. Um, I mean, I still can't attack, so. You can't? Yeah, I, you got swords. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, This was pretty much just cleanup duty, so I think I'm just gonna pass it there. All right. Uh, um. Okay, so this sucks. <laughs> swords is gone. <laughs> Yeah, you know what's funny too is I actually saw that card and I was like, eh, I don't know, maybe. What card? The autonomous action unit. I saw it. Oh yeah. I actually saw it. I was like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Might come up. Yeah. Standby to main. Yeah, yes sir. Swords is gone. Let's get in there with a crisp dark hole. Ooh, wiping the board. Uh, yeah, wiping that's fine. The board. And then I will take six for the tokens. Normal, Drillroid. Uh, that is okay. Battle phase. Sure. Let's go. I will Are you take using... it. Okay, never mind. Ass. All right, I will Where? draw. Uh, standby to main. All right, buddy, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> is it Cyber Dragon or is it that again? Uh, it's Monster Reborn. I want the ancient gear. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Did you top deck that? No. <laughs> okay. Jesus. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Was this your strategy? Let me get out boss monsters and then take them again? Uh, no. Like, I mean, if like, I can't have change of heart, I'll do it other ways. You know Monster Reborn's a staple. I just figured that yeah. Autonomous Action Unit was going to be a pretty interesting card to bring out because I figured we might be playing something similar. But, uh, no, fucking, uh, yeah, this Ancient Gear Golem, he's fucking nice. I like it. We're going to get in there. And I will pass it back. Stand by the main. Or let's see. What'd you say? Concede? I said let's see. <laughs> no. More like concede, am I right? <laughs> um, let's start with a heavy storm. Uh that is fine with me. And let's set a card and we'll pass. Alright. I will draw. Stand by to main. Uh, let's see, you have a Wing Karibo in there. That was a, a new card I didn't see before. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we're just going to go straight into battle. Let's get in there. All right, that will be a second Wing Karibo. Oh, so I... it's for the rest of the turn, you take no battle. So does that count for the piercing? I don't because know. Because it, it technically flips. You perform the damage calc which initially would have been zero, but because he does piercing, like there would have been damage. Mm. Yeah, there would be damage because it needs to be sent from the field to the graveyard and then the effect gets applied. Mm. And the damage gets applied while it's still on the field. So... Oh, That's... fuck at that rate. I might as well not even set it. I was going to say that that was a lot. <laughs> uh, I mean, you never know. I could have had another normal summon. Uh, main phase two. I got a back row. Back to you. Stand by the main. Or it's literally the only, thing I, only thing I can do right now. Ooh, a cyber dragon. Oh, dude! Imagine if we had the uh, the, the fusion card. You could have just uh, stolen this because it's a machine. Um, during the end phase, I mm -hmm. activate Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I will pitch from my hand, Dark Magician of Chaos. Uh, that goes to the top. Deck. All right. I will draw for turn. Stand by to main. Well, bud, I don't know about you, but uh, have you seen what's in my graveyard? Yeah. What do you see? I'm hovering over the admit defeat button right now, just so you know. <laughs> I banish a light and a dark. <laughs> Special summon the chaos sorcerer. Go to battle. Let's can, get in click. there. I can click right now. <laughs> yeah, let's go. 
Man, I thought it would take longer than one episode for you to bring back chaos. I do it. It's Cyber Dragon. I have to. A new light. A free special. So it just goes to show, even with the ban list, uh, chaos is still overpowered. Um. Well, I did end up having to sit on the democ since turn one. Uh, with no way to bring it out. Uh, I had a way to bring it Light out birthday. earlier, but it was like there was too much happening on the board to really risk it, I thought. Um, but the play would have resolved with me being able to recycle the Monster Reborn. So hmm. I get like some of the losses back, but if you would have gotten, like if you had an out to the Democ, um, that would have actually hurt quite a bit. But uh, no, the fact that I had the... Uh, <clears throat> What is it? The autonomous action unit and the monster reborn. It was like a, kind of just a waiting game on my end, seeing what it is that you get in your graveyard first. And yeah, the uh, ancient gear golem was just the perfect target. You have two golem. Mm -hmm. Did you pull one the, the first time? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just didn't use them. And you're playing the system down. Scared of Cyber Dragon. <laughs> just in case. I mean, you got like the other outs for Cyber Dragon as well. You had Hain Hain in here, Night Assailants in here. I, I even had a rival of Pierce for that reason. Oh, you're playing Jinzo too. Fuck. You're playing a lot of tribute and the level 10. Wow, you were just putting everything in here. Damn. So, which of these cards were in the side? Uh, System Down. Oh, that was the only one? I think that was the only card I sided in. Okay. Yeah, that's all I sided in. And you have the power bomb, which tells me that you have either the cyber end or the uh, cyber twin or both. Well, for starters, I have this. <laughs> Elemental hero. <laughs> <laughs> then I have this. Oh, damn, dude. Then I have this. Another one. Fuck. Then I have this. Three. Then I have this and two cyber end that i have this wow <laughs> yeah your, dude i got your pulls are i crazy. got good off those cyber pulls holy shit i have and to, like, two power bonds dude i got good on those pulls i'll have to be like wary with the the cyber dragon stuff because it's like the moment that you have two in hand or like you can special summon the one like the power bond is just going to be a threat because like cyber twin could probably just like end the game there was never a moment where I had power bond and any cyber dragons on my field or in my hand. Or if I had a cyber dragon, I never had anything else. So yeah. as of now, it's not a worry, apparently. Yeah. I don't have uh, your your luck with hands. So I don't know, man. That was I think that was a pretty skilled play right there. I uh, I timed out the offerings to out the golem. I was able to spin back the cyber dragons or at least pop the cyber dragon. We were doing some like pretty fair trades earlier. I think like the the most in terms of like card value that you got out of game one was the mirror force, the uh, two for one yeah. trade, which wasn't bad because like even the in, the Nudoria is weak, but it still causes you a problem to where like you kind of don't want to out it with a uh, battle. Mm -hmm. I was trying to uh, <clears throat> keep a body on the floor or on the field though, but I just couldn't do it because I had gear in my hand. Uh yeah. But I also had the monster reborn, so I was like, if I could just keep a body in the field, <clears throat> reborn one of them, and then summon golem, but it never worked. Yeah, but that's why, like, I think you were probably playing like too many big bodies. I mean, yeah, because um, one, two, three, four, only four, because cyber dragons can summon themselves. It can, but it it might not always pop up. Like, yeah, I don't think I actually had a way to have a monster on board in game two. But even if I did, I did just consider just, you know, no monsters, just pass. Two back row, that's it. Because giving you the opportunity to have a cyber dragon going second, it's like, nah, not dealing with it. Mm. Especially when the back row I have, like, can deal with the cyber dragon as well. So okay. yeah, I, I let some attacks get in through because it's like, Depending on what it is that I top deck, I could just out it with the top deck. Um, and, you know, it's not like I'm going to die if, like, the Droveroid or whatever it is, the, the Cyber Dragon, when uh, you attack me directly. No, you got a lot of dangerous cards. Yeah, we both have, like, the playset of Cyber Dragon, Power Bond, and that you actually have, like, the stuff that you need to make the fusions uh, is really scary. Cause it's and either you're, of them. Yeah, because it's either you're making a 56 
100 attack monster that can attack twice or an 8k monster <laughs> that does piercing <laughs> yeah so technically i wouldn't die if you like attacked into like night assailant or something and i still get to out the cyber dragon but that's a lot of damage but uh no you still have like other dangerous cards as well, well the uh brain I controls mean, I'm looking at you. yeah a warrior so I'm looking lady at your deck and you have a lot of outs for that though well that's the thing like i kind of have to play these cards they're i don't know to me like these are staple cards i think the the phoenix wing blast is going to start coming up a lot more often um offerings it's just a quick pop yeah phoenix wing offerings um ring of destruction even yeah like i think honestly it's just gonna be one of those points in the game where you know removal is going to be very crucial right now and like we're also still starting to get to the point where like yeah the spells and traps are pretty good but uh the monsters are starting to like edge forward a little bit in terms of like them being the ones controlling the game i think cyber dragon adds a lot to that you know because it's like oh you can feel very comfortable setting and passing well not when your opponent special summons a cyber and then normal summons another whatever card it's like that's a, co a a dangerous combination right there it's like special cyber normal summon drillroid it's like drillroid will just like run over the set card and then you're taking 21 straight to the dome that's not usually the amount of damage that we are taking only by like turn two mm -hmm. i gotta say like i didn't even realize that system down was a card until like maybe a year or so ago i'm surprised that they even made a card like this for like vanishing machine monsters well i really need it apparently I just find it weird because it's dragons, like you're stealing my golem and everything like I could have really used that card yeah well like yeah it's a it's a decent card if you know you're playing up against that type of a deck but it's just really weird that they have a card like this that removes all from the field and the, and graveyard. the graveyard like could you imagine them doing a card like this for like spell casters uh, maybe they anticipated how much of a problem cyber dragon can be it's kind of like max C it's like you know we, we can make max C so people like don't want to su special summon and combo off all the time. The problem is combo decks can still run max C. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to do their full combo. You you didn't draw max C, so you just have to sit there and watch them. And then during your draw phase, oh, they drop max C on top of like having to deal with everything. Yeah. All right, buddy, here we are. The loser's wheel. Ready to spin? really glad i formed that ass groove last week <laughs> i'm gonna be here a while all right it's slowing down let's see it looks like you're getting three previous packs okay i'll take it not too bad oh i don't really think there's anything new i can get but i'll take it yeah <laughs> you already got everything holy shit maybe that uh second copy of level 10 who knows or a third copy of end dragon sure All right, and now uh, it's time for the winner's wheel. Let's see what I get. Ooh. Uh, not that good. <laughs> what, did you get a raw super? Uh, yes, I get to craft a super. Mm. But it's like out of these pack, out of this last pack, I don't know. Power Bond's dead to me. Miracle Fusion might as well be dead to me. I mean, maybe I'll maybe I'll take Miracle Fusion. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll get there later. All right. Well, that's gonna bring an end to this episode. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, like comment down below. Tell us what you think. If you like the video, consider hitting that subscribe button for more content just like this. Like always, Cody. Final words. Aosh is a ladder. It is. And I appear unable to climb it. <laughs> nope. I'm just going to uh, keep stealing your uh, ancient gear golems and uh, bash you back down those steps. Not if I keep playing. No, not if I don't play him. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> well, then I'll play my own. Yeah, I'll show you. I won't play any boss monsters. How about that? <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to bring into this episode. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. We'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye.